Welcome back, and let's get to the exciting conclusion of the first children's story, Scary No More. What did we see this last time? Let's uh, look at the cover now. So we have the cover with its three monsters. And we saw that the monsters are hanging out. A big haunted house. A ghost who is sweating. A ghost sweat, I guess. Reading a book. Sitting down. A jack-o'-lantern smiling. A witch flying through the night on a broom in front of the moon. A dark tree, some bats, and some mad jack-o'-lanterns. Then uh, a, a vampire, a vampire and a violin. A mummy who is walking. And I guess they called him unraveled. He seems not unraveled. Uh, and the bat, the evil bat with red eyes. So the plot is these bad creatures, these evil creatures, they are not killing anyone. They are not scaring anyone. They are having fun. So let's continue. What happens after we meet the bat? A friendly witch with a big black hat brewed potions that made everyone chat. Uh, friendly, hello, hi, big black hat, to brew. So to brew is like to make a drink. You cook food, but you brew drinks. You brew tea. You brew coffee. Here, you brew. She brewed, brewed in the past, potions. And it made everyone chat. Chat is talk. Like a light talk, a friendly talk. And we see the witch uh, on her broomstick. Like a black cat is on the front of the broomstick. She has a big hat. Uh, she's waving. She's waving to us. She is in front of the moon. And there are two clouds. She is between between cloud cloud her she is between two clouds next page and a sweet little ghost striped and round giggled and floated fun he had found uh, so striped you'll see you see it's the line around something of a different color striped Giggled, past, to giggle is a little laugh, a little laugh, like hee hee hee, a little laugh. Floated, if here's the ground, floated, not touching the ground. See, someone walks on the ground, but if they're above, they're floating. So giggled and floated, fun he had found. Remember, in English, if you want to sound poetic, you can change words. So, normal English, giggled and floated, he had found fun. But, with poetry, fun he had found. And the ghost with the purple stripes and two eyes looking up. Grim took delight in not giving a fright, but instead with a wave, candies he gave. Um, so to take delight, to be, to enjoy, to get pleasure, very good, you like it, and not giving a fright, not scaring anyone, but instead, not this, but that, instead with a wave, candies he gave. Candies, again, switch words, he gave candies, candies he gave and we have the grim reaper uh with his he's holding what is he holding a scythe a scythe 
He's holding the handle, the long wooden handle, and the blade, the blade. Uh, he has a scythe. Um, and hood, black face, red eyes. The haunted house, once gloomy, cobweb, cobwebbed, and scary, was transformed to a pumpkin cottage, was transformed to a pumpkin cottage by a Halloween fairy. Gloomy is like sad, dark, ugh, like I'm, I feel bad, I'm gloomy. Cobwebbed, it's a spider makes web. Old web, a cobweb, and scary, was transformed, changed, A, changes to B, transforms to B, was transformed to a pumpkin cottage, a cottage, a small house, a small cozy house in the country, by a Halloween fairy. Uh, and we have the cottage it looks like it's wooden with four, six windows, uh, two on the left, two on the front, two in the second floor. A chimney, um, a chimney and a door. And then we have a jack-o'-lantern in the front left. A gravestone in the, in the middle right. A gravestone when someone dies, when they, sorry, when they die, um, they are in the ground and we put this stone there, a gravestone. And the moon in the top right, and a ghost, a ghost in the top left. They invited children far and wide for them to meet and bring trick-or-treat bags to fill loot so sweet. Um, far and wide just means from everywhere, far and wide, everywhere, um, for them to meet and bring trick-or-treat bags. Trick-or-treat, knock on the door. I'm a child, it's Halloween, knock on the door. Trick-or-treat, give me candy. Trick-or-treat bags to fill loot so sweet. Here is the trick-or-treat bag uh, with a spider, a spider dangling. Here is the spider dangling from a web and another jack-o'-lantern. Trick-or-treat bag. Together they celebrated, far from being scary, a Halloween filled with joy. Oh, so merry. So far from being scary, it's not scary. Not scary at all. Celebrate, like, yeah, yeah, great, awesome. Um, and merry, joy, merry, happiness, happy. We have another picture. It looks like monsters or children. Uh, and they say, happy Halloween. So in this story, you'll come to see that even monsters and witches can be as friendly as can be. You'll come to see, you will learn, you will see in the future, um, as friendly as can be, as can be the most. So even monsters and witches are as really friendly really, really friendly, even them. And we see again the three monsters, or the two monsters and the witch from the cover. Um, again, a yeti looking monster, uh, a witch of some sort here, um, the, the green ball monster, and a big, big old spider with four eyes. And a cat who is never, ever happy. Uh, the end. Again, the witch waving goodbye. So that's scary no more. 
a beautiful story, a touching story, and I will do more stories. Some may be more beautiful, some less beautiful, but you're here to learn. You're here for the English. So thank you for coming and talk to you soon.